Hey family, Danny here. Today I want to talk to you guys about the Amazing Spider-Man Gang War. If you've been reading these issues, it it has heated up significantly. And we just had a big battle where we saw the rest of the territory. You know, this was a fight for the territory that was left. I'll be putting this on my Instagram pictures, of course. But basically, it all comes down to Madam Mask and Beetle. Janice, aka Janice Tombstone's daughter, fighting for the rest of the territory, for the whole thing, and for who's going to have control over whatever little people are left, you know, that have little maybe pockets here and there. And Spider Man, of course, is there, you know, because the city is being torn apart. I mean, he's got the whole crew with him, as you can see, and everybody's been involved in this. Like I said, this was a big epic event. I mean, we had She-Hulk, Luke Cage, Miles Morales, Spider-Woman, Shang-Chi. I mean, just, you know, this was a big one, you know? And so they're there to just basically, you know, get keep this thing under control because they've been fighting all over New York City. I mean, it's just been a free-for-all. And so during this battle, Janice kind of pulls her people back briefly to kind of do a, a work smart not hard like kind of let spider-man and madam mask people go at it so you know they can kind of knock he can knock off some of madam mask people to make that easier for her and of course her father tombstone is there during this battle in, in these two issues we find out that she has been using sigils to control people including her father, her own father, and Shotgun, who was undercover and was actually sent to assassinate the gang war leaders because the concern was really over Janice, that Janice was getting so out of control. And so when he tells Tombstone this during this fight, this personal fight one-on-one -on -one that they're having, it really disturbs him. Because he knew he didn't want his daughter to follow his footsteps and he knew she was, but he just didn't know how ruthless things, you know, how she was and how things have just gotten so hot, far out of control. And it's not what he wanted for her. So this is a shock to him and, and, and it changes the course of things. And we get him making a declaration at the end of this issue where he basically, you know, he says, you know, whoever wins today is going to own everything and they're going to have to be a monster to keep it. That's not you, Janice. So this is him having this moment with his daughter. And then we get the declaration. It's me. So, wow, things are changing. <laughs> and this is, this is, this is, a, this is, a, it's kind of, I don't know. I kind of saw this coming because it seemed like, you know, Tombstone just retiring and kind of, or maybe semi-retiring and letting Janice jump in. It just didn't seem like that was plausible for him. And it's not. <laughs> And in issue 44, you know, we have the battle continuing. Of course, like I said, I'll be posting pictures. And during this battle, you know, like I said, he, as you saw, he subdued his daughter. But the last issue concludes there's one name on this board. So we know this is not it. That there's going to be, you know, fallout from this. Of course, you know, this is just an overview, guys. But I thought this was a very satisfactory semi-conclusion because we know it's not a conclusion. But we also know, you guys, that we got this coming up. Blood Hunt. This huge, huge event that's going to be... I mean, the estimate I saw, if you got every comic that was involved in Blood Hunt it would be $80 a month that you'd be spending over $200 worth of comics. As you see, I'm looking, I, I made some notes. So if you see me, I mean, this is going to be a big one. We're going to have, um, it's going to include 
over 20 tie-ins. The first, the first, the original Blood Hunt, the first, you know, the, I guess you could say the main, the core story is going to be five issues, but it's going to be about the rise of the vampire nation and basically trying to take over the world. It's going to include Blood Hunters, Dracula Blood Hunt. We're going to have Strange Academy, um, the Amazing Spider-Man, of course, Union Jack the Ripper, Midnight Suns. Wolverine. We're going to have one shots that are going to include Werewolf by Night Blood Hunt, Hulk Blood Hunt, X Men Blood Hunt Jubilee, X Month Blood Hunt Magic, X Men Blood Hunt Psylocke, X Men Blood Hunt Lore, Kenny the Wolverine. We're going to have tie ins, Vengeance of the Moon Knight. It's, it's, it's going to be a lot. So we're going to have that story amping up which is going to be launched during free comic book day so keep that one under your under your hat you know for to be aware of so as always it's always good to talk to you guys and to talk about the things that i love and stay different bye